Hi there. When I come up with a jig of some kind, I like to share it with others. So this is one of those cases. I use a Jessam Miter XL miter gauge, and I like it a lot, works very well. The weak point on it to me is this little adjustable stop. You can slide it along here, as far as I'm concerned with a little difficulty. Try to lock it down and it always wants to move over a little bit. And I like to get things fairly precise. So for me, this is bordering on useless, to be honest. Now on the face, you can see there are some slots. And if you take a quarter 20 bolt, those slots fit perfectly with the hex head. So you can move it along anywhere you want. And I've made a couple of blocks that you can see here. I put quarter 20 bolts through them, which will fit into these slots. And then I can tighten up the knobs wherever I want them. So if I have this one tightened up, I can use that when I want to cut a 45 degree end on this other end so I can make a frame. So I can slide this to where I want it, lock it in, cut that other end, and then check it. And if it's out, I can take this piece, butt it up against there, tighten it, then loosen off these two bolts, and I can either advance it in a little bit, as fine a measurement as I want. It's a quarter 20 bolt, so one turn will give you 1 20th of an inch. <laughs> so I can count the number of turns, I can make it just a part of a turn, lock this back in, retest another cut to see what I've got, I can back it off the other way, whatever I want to do with this. I find this very, very helpful. And because I want to be doing some frames with some precision right now on the next project, this is going to work out just fine for me. Now, I don't know if this is any good to you or not. If you like this idea, I'm sure a lot of other miter gauges have slots so you can put these in. Let me know what you think. I hope this is valuable to you. If you know somebody else who's got a miter gauge and would like a little bit of precision, feel free to share this with them. I just realized I left out what some people might think is some fairly important information. On this adjusting block, I had drilled a 21 64th of an inch hole deep enough for one of these inserts to screw into. It screws into the wood and then the inside is threaded for a quarter 20 rod. Then I completed the hole with a 17 64th of an inch bit to go all the way through so the rod can come in very easily. So I thought you might want to know about that. So, thank you for joining me. Click the like button if you like this idea. And I hope you'll come back next time. Between now and then, have a great day in your shop and be safe. I hope this quick tip helps. Take care now.